Hey guys, Jake here from Aussie Reptiles. Today's video I'm going to be showing you a few tanks that I've set up. They don't actually have any inhabitants, they are just bare for the time being, and in fact they may even just stay plant related. Um, there's something different, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm quite happy with how they've turned out. They're not exactly how I want them, but they're close enough. So we're going to flip the camera around and check out these terrariums uh, and maybe talk about some future inhabitants. So uh, let's uh, flip the camera around and check it out. Alrighty, here they are. Now, as I said, nothing too, too special. This one is just a grow out tank. I've also been asked to do an update on these ones. Now, these ones are an absolute mess of a jungle. But let's start on these ones first. Let's crack them open and have a look. So, what is this set up for? Again, never really had any intentions for anything in particular. Uh, more than likely some small dwarf frog species or something like that. I know one of these will be a grow out tank for some green stream frogs um, whenever I can actually go pick them up. Uh, which hopefully can happen sometime soon, but in Victoria we are in lockdown. So, what's in here? We've got some bromeliads, um, some air plants, um, I forget what this is called. Uh, this is an oak leaf, oak leaf something something, and obviously a bunch of moss. Really nice moss, I love moss. So, pretty nice terrarium. Uh, I should really start to remember the names of the plants so I can actually include the plant names. Um, I'm just not the smartest at doing that, so I don't always uh, remember to keep the little tags. I really, really need to start doing that with some future builds. Uh, but yeah, look, a nice bit of driftwood. The bromides are all popped in there, and again, they're all doing quite well. Give it a good spray um, a couple times a week, and then mainly on the moss, because again, that moss is, is quite <coughs> detrimental to having quite a lot of moisture in the... In the uh, in its leaves, I guess you can say. So that's that one. Let's go into this tank here. This one's a little bit harder to access because it does bump into the side wall. Uh, but look again, very, very, very similar in setup. We've got some, again, live moss, heaps of live moss, some more air plants. We've got some old man's beard or Spanish moss. Really nice bromeliad. I love this one. This one would have to be one of my favorites. And it's actually recently shot off a little pup, which is coming along really well. Again, a few others. A silver sword, uh, philodendron, um, another little one of those plants, and some nice bromeliads again. So, not too sure what you guys think of them, whether you guys think they're cool or not. Uh, as I said, I, 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 uh, I've just made a mess. I do like them quite a lot. Um, they're just, again, something different. So whether or not I just keep them literally as plants, or if I end up putting livestock in there, uh, which we may do. This one, again, this one is literally just a grow out. So it looks quite messy. There is a bit of everything, some parlor palms, clippings, a full parlor palm in there. Um, this is that ginger plant, which I actually snipped off from here because that was just growing like mental. Uh, some, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called Wandering Dew. There's a clipping under here of that pink spider leaf. I'm gonna take the ginger out because it's growing, but it's just, it's blocking the light to other things. Um, Ficus, that's growing like crazy, some pothos, um, I forget what this is called, but I, I also really love this plant, um, that was given to me uh, by the same guy that I uh, brought all the bromeliads from, uh, and all the air plants, the talantias and stuff like that, there's a um, something, <laughs> it's a button fern, uh, I believe it's called back there, so a few different plants, but again that is literally just a grow out bin where uh, everything can sort of do whatever. In here, let's use the mess, there's heaps of mess. I've just had my uh, 21st birthday. Oh, well, it was last week now. Oh, there's uh, one of the little tree frogs there. Brown tree frogs, let's just put, ah, oh, whatever, he can stay out. Um, this is their tank. Now, this tank is absolutely heckers. It is covered to the brim um, with the pothos or devil's ivy. It has grown like crazy. I keep clipping clippings from it. It's where most of my other bromeliads, have, uh, not bromeliads, it's where the other, most of the other portions of my pothos has come from. But yeah, that has taken off like mental up a step. So, Blue Mountain Tree Frogs. They're in here. Uh, that is the ginger plant I took the clipping from. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, pothos. Now, a lot of the plants didn't end up doing too well and some have gone quite well. So you can see the one at the back there. It's dying off. There's one of the uh, beautiful little 
tree frogs there. There's another one. This one back here is my favorite. It is the most spectacular one by far. Wow, this camera has such a slow zoom. It's kind of dramatic. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to have them grow up and then move into a larger tank, like a 45 by 45 by 60. These are the Eastern Dwarf Tree Frogs. Now, their tank is one of those ones that sort of just took off. Uh, now, I like this because this is very reminiscent of what I've seen them in the wild. Uh, besides, obviously, the certain types of plants, but they're really in luscious bush uh, shrubbery and stuff like that. Now, where are any of them? There is one back, back, back in the corner. Well... There was one back in the corner. He's uh, making his way downtown. There he is now. Why is that so slow? Now I do have some really nice specimens in there that are really a beautiful green. Um, but... Stumps me, absolutely stumped as to where the heck they are. But there's nine of them in there. Um, I just never see them. This is the red eyes and dainty tree frogs. So there's one there, there is one there, there is. Oh, three! Up under here, there is one tucked there as well. There's a few of them in here. Uh, I've got, what have I got? Five red eyes and five dainties. Again, they're all just small as that one. Here is the biggest one. The rest are all very similar size to that, as you can see. And again, these aren't permanent tanks. They are grow out tanks. These are only 30 cube, well, 30 base by 45 tall. Uh, so not obviously permanent sizes for any of these species. The dwarfs you could potentially get away with, but again, I would like to have them eventually in something along the lines of 45 cubed, or again, 45, 45 by 60 tall. But that is the updates on the frog terrariums and showcasing the two new ones um, that have been recently set up. Let me know if you guys think there should be anything in particular that should stock these. As I said, I'm pretty sure one will be to um, grow out some blue, uh, green stream tree frogs. Um, yeah, I was tempted to move the common froglets into one, but again, the height is just so unnecessary for that species, so I keep them in there. They're in a 45 uh, by 30 and then like 30 tall tank, um, which is like perfect little ground dimensions for the five of them at the moment. Um, but yeah, that will do for this portion of today's video. Alrighty guys, so that will bring today's video to an end. I'm also now filming on my new camera, which I got for my birthday. Uh, so hopefully you guys notice the better in quality and hopefully better in audio as well. Um, but that will do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Just quickly getting something out there. Again, now that I've got the better filming equipment, um, be prepared for some more videos. So hopefully that can happen soon. I know I say this absolutely every single time and my last video was actually a month ago, but um, everything's all sorted out now. We've got the better filming equipment, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can kick it off and provide some more content for you guys and some reptile knowledge. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.